for me. Okay. But we know, like, when it comes to Gabon, yes, France, they have a very good connection. We saw from his father to him, and so somebody, when, when you say France is vomiting him, what do you mean by that? Because we know they've been working very close, very closely till now. If we, we when you look at all, you read all the reports and everything, their wealth, they have a lot of wealth outside, particularly in France, and their uh, bilateral ties, their diplomatic ties are huge. So, like, when you say France has vomited him, what do you mean by that? Well, madam, when we look at, you know, I always say that France is, it's the, the greatest trouble Africa has. You know, France has nothing, and France has everything. When I say France has nothing and France has everything, it means that France depends on Africa to live. Now, after when most African countries had their independence, France, who knows that they have nothing? So they have been looking for ways to keep protecting their interests in most African countries. And that is why you will notice they have created some NGOs, associations, and all that. So when, when um, the family of Ali Bongo, who is a political family, and we all understand that his father ruled for over 40 to 44 years, and he was being backed by the French. And we all understood that he even joined the franc masonry and was the great major and introduced it in Gabon. It was like something that was normal. So now, the son took over in 2019 from the in 2009 from the father. Now the son, who is no longer that, has that capacity of you know, trying to you know, protect the interests of France because France doesn't care about the development of African countries. They're out to come and take the resources because Gabon has manganese, oil, and wood. But yet Gabon is very poor. Yeah. You know, they have been exploiting these people and with the coalition, you know, the, the, the how can I say, the complot they have been making with the um, presidential family and be, they have been exploiting the soils of, you know, of Gabon for so long. And now we can see that this man, um, Ali Bongo, was sick and he has this incapacity to rule. And now France has understood that this man is no longer, he, can, he cannot be able to protect the interests of the French people in, 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 in Gabon. So they are trying to send him away. So you think they are trying to send him away because he's sick? Not only because he's sick, but because, you know, most African countries that were colonized by France and their president, they sign conventions, they sign some pacts. And when this president starts to become intelligent, they want to start, you know, trying to work for their country. The French will say, oh, no, you are no longer working for our own interests in your country. Okay, so, so we are going was, to that, remove that's, you. That's what Ali Bongo was turning to. He was trying to work for the people now. You think so? I think so. I okay. think so. He might have become, because, you know, you you cannot be bad all your life. Yeah. You you know change is the only There's constant thing in life. You yes, you, you yes. When you see your people and you you're trying to be remorseful, you understand. Then the French will say, "Oh my God, we are here to get your your wood. We are here to get your oil. We are here to get your manganese." And now the conventions we sign, you no longer respect, and you are you, you have this incapacity to rule and all that. So they say, "Okay, let's bring out this this person who can no longer protect the interests of our country and bring someone who will work for us." Like I I see a lot of people um you know trying to praise you know the transitional president yes, uh, you know olingi they are praising him they are happy but i think that he's still from the the presidential family he is the cousin of this presidential family so i think he still has that grain of the the, the olingi Ol, Oling, um the, the, bongos the Bongos family. Yeah. I think he still have that link, and he has been working for for yes, that. He worked for he, his father for a very long time. For a very long time, and he has been the chief of guard of the president for a very long time. So a lot of people would say, "No, this guy is trying to liberate Gabon. He's trying to do this." I still think that it is the French that put him. Why? Because you know, like I can take an example from 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 from, from Chad okay. with um, Ibra um, Muhammad Idris Deby when his father died. Or when his father was cute, okay, he took over his father. Mm -hmm. A lot of us believe that no, there was a youth who could change the, the the standard of living for the people, work for the people, and all that. But once this problem of Niger happened, we all saw where he belongs because he went and joined the Ecowas, mm -hmm. and he started persecuting his own brother, and he was even sent to Niger. You understand? So I'm trying to, to, to analyze this with the other, you know, events that has been happening because we all know that Africa right now is very hot. So there to are you, lot of that's what you think the difference is. The difference with this, the coup in Gabon is different from 
the coup in Niger, which you think is supported by all. So to you, Gabon should not be supported because it's still put by the French, and Niger should be supported because it's against the French. Is that your, your view? That's not my view. What I meant to say is <coughs> a lot of people are praising the transitional president, mm. okay? Brace Olingi, they are shouting, no, he's going to liberate the people from Gabon. Gabon will be emancipated and all that. Family, yeah. But the belief to see the political hidings of this person okay. because this guy has been working for the bongo family for a long time and i you cannot you cannot say um um you cannot plant cocoa yams and harvest you know um maize he still has that gene he still has that you know that politics of the bongo's family mm -hmm. so i think he's not genuine for me okay. i think he's not join, genuine because he still has that gene. But the people are just happy. You know, the masses don't really understand what we call politics. Politics is a dirty game. Politics is something that a lot of people don't understand. They are just happy. Oh, no, our enemy, Bongo, has been removed. And they are, they are celebrating. Four years is a long time for people to say we are tired. You know, longevity, to me, is not a problem. Okay. Longevity is not a problem. To me, is what can you offer? Okay. I think that because the way it happened, France has said nothing. Has France said anything? No, they have, they have joined the others to condemn the... Just recently. But in the case of Niger, they were like dying. They were like dying, and they are still dying. They had to instill the ECOWAS to do some kind of, you know, some embargoes against the, the people from Niger. But why the case of, you know, Gabon, they remained silent for a while, and later, because people had to speak, they came out and they said, okay, let's condemn just to blindfold the people, a cosmetic thing. Mm -hmm. So we need to understand that this is a political strategy. We need to be very careful because a lot of people will just be happy. The Gabonese say, no, we have been under, you know, um, um, dictatorship, oppression for so long. We want a change. What kind of a change do you want? Change is good. But that's the same way when the father Umabongo came. We don't know. Okay. He just became the transitional president. I think that was yesterday. Okay. Yesterday. So a lot of people just want change. They don't know the, 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 whether it is a positive change or a negative change. We need to be very careful. And the masses, they are so emotional. They are just so emotional. Because when we saw when this thing happened on the 30th, ah, they stood to the street. They were celebrating. But they don't understand the political message from this. And when this man, um, Ali, Bongo spoke in English. It's a message he's sending out. French has vomited him and they have accepted Brice Olingi because he will work for the interests of the people. The people will say no. Um, Omar Bongo and the father, uh, um, Omar Bongo, who was the father, and Ali Bongo have ruled, they have turned Gabon to a monarchy. We want a change. We want somebody new. But we need to be very careful. Because this same guy is from the royal family, if I may say, because Gabon was turned to a, a monarchy for a long time. So we need to be very careful in, an, in our analysis, and we need to take decisions that will not, we will not regret. Because they are regretting um, Omar Bongo, they are regretting um, the, 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 the son. When, he, when they all came to power, they were happy, they praised him, they loved him. At one point, they discovered that this man, no, is amassing wealth for his family and himself. They are not working for the people. And today we are praising another transitional president. And the question is, if this guy was genuine, we had an election, okay? The election said um, or, or, um, the presidential Ali family, Ali Bongo, won the elections. But the, you know, there was a coalition of the opposition party that was headed by Odo Ons, um, Ondo Osa. Mm -hmm. Now, I think that this transitional president, who is the chief of God, uh, um, a general, he would have handed power to this man. Mm 